If you're looking for a fully enclosed large-scale 3D printer, capable of printing all types of filament including ABS and nylon, without too much of the hassle, then this 3D printer might be your choice. Stay tuned. Hi guys, Nexi here, back with another video and this is the X-Max from GD Tech. X-Max is a fully enclosed large-scale 3D printer that I got my attention on Amazon with impressive 5 stars feedback rate from close to 165 customers. X-Max comes with a fully enclosed frame design which makes it perfect for printing any high temperature filaments like polycarbonate, ABS, nylon and etc. When it comes to the print size, X-Max comes with a build volume of 300 by 250 by 300 mm on the Z-axis, which is pretty large and it should be plenty enough for the most makers out there. This printer comes with a direct drive extruder that supports pretty much any kind of filament, it has magnetic flexible build plate, dual Z-axis lead screw, touch screen, it supports printing over USB stick, internet cable or the Wi-Fi. In terms of extra features, the X-Max supports resume printing after power loss and it supports auto shutdown feature after the print is finished. Now let's do a quick unboxing and setup. This is the shipping box of the X-Max and it's huge. It weighs over 38 kilograms or 84 pounds so make sure that you have extra set of hands to help you with the unboxing. Inside of the shipping box you're gonna find plate level paper, two extra build plate, tanks card with a one year warranty and one year infinite support, troubleshooting with a frequently asked questions and there is a very nice and detailed colorful guide which is full of useful information. It will tell you how to unbox the printer, how to set it up, how to use the slicer, how to print, pretty much everything to get you started. And for those who use Simplified 3D, there is a print and profile which is very nice. More in a box, you're gonna find one more extruder. This is a high temperature direct drive extruder that is meant to be used for nylon, polycarbonate, carbon fiber and other high temperature filaments. This extruder comes with a hardened steel nozzle so you do not need to worry about abrasive filament. Also there is a quick instructions and video how to install the new extruder. The process is pretty easy and it just take a few minutes. Next there is a spare relay which can turn off the printer automatically after the print is finished which is a very useful feature. Next there is a toolbox in which you will find many things like tools, spare brass nozzle, fuse, clips, screws, spare filament guide tube and more. Next we have an internet cable, nice and sharp spatula, spool holders and one kilogram of PLA filament. Once I take the printer out from the box and place it on the desk, I remove the plastic protective folds and zip ties which was holding the print heads in a place during the shipping. Then I plug in the printer, turn it on and lift the build platform from the software interface which allow me to remove the protective foam that was securing the heat bed during the shipping. With the printer there is also supplied glue stick and USB flash memory on which there is a video guides with a troubleshooting, kitty slicer software, slicer profiles and all kinds of useful information and video guides which is great. After that I install the filament, I level the heated bed which takes around 2 minutes and the X-Max was ready to run. Since there is no assembling, for the whole unboxing process and setup you need around 15 to 20 minutes which makes it perfect for the beginners. And now let's talk about the size, design and the build quality of the X-Max. With the external dimensions of 58 by 53 by 74 the X-Max is pretty large 3D printer but since the heat bed moves only up and down instead of back and forward this printer is quite of compact as well and it will fit nicely on any standard home or office desk table. Besides size I have to comment on a weight as well. The X-Max weight is about 27 kilograms or 61 pounds which makes it the most heaviest and the most stable desktop 3D printer that I ever tested. More on that in just a moment. When it comes to the design, X-Max looks very nice and clean like a cube. The printer comes in a dark grey color and all side panels are made of injected molded plastic attached to the metal frame which is inside of the printer. On the front side of the printer there is a wide magnetic door with a transparent plexiglass and there is a built-in LED light so you can monitor the printing process even in the dark and the LED light is controlled from the LCD screen. On the front top side, beside XMAX name, there is illuminated power on off button and there is LCD screen, while on the bottom there is a USB and LAN internet socket. 
On the left and right side we have the huge silver X, handle and a few warning information. And on the back of the printer there is a spool holder that rechecks, two enclosure fans, AC socket with a fuse and the main on-off switch. Under the plastic panels the X-Max has a metal frame which is incredibly robust and heavy. And when you see this 3D printer in a person, you do not get feeling that under this plastic shell there is a hidden steel metal frame. Thanks to this industrial design, the X-Max has the most stable heatbed platform that I ever saw on a desktop 3D printer. The heatbed platform itself is made of 2mm folded steel sheet, supported by dual Z-axis lead screw that slides on the dual 12mm stainless steel rods on each side. The X and Y carriages are sliding on a 10mm steel rods and what is even more impressive is that the X-Max has the heated bed which is made of whopping 10mm thick aluminum plate, which I never seen before on a desktop 3D printer. This robust heated bed is packed with a high temperature tolerant magnets which hold this steel bill plate very strong in a place. Once you level the X-Max once, you don't need to think about it for a very long time. Also the heat bed warms up reasonably fast, consider how thick actually is. Here is the list of time intervals. Now the build plate itself is made of steel sheet and it can be used in two ways. On one side there is a build tech printing surface, which is suitable for PLA, PTG, TPU and ABS prints. Other side of the build plate, with a combination of glue stick, is meant to be used for high temperature filaments like nylon, polycarbonate, carbon fiber and etc. By having the flexible build plate, removing the prints from it is very easy. Just bend it in opposite direction and the prints will pop up. On the right side of the X carriage, there is very powerful filament turbofan, which blows the air precisely under the tip of the nozzle from each corner of the heat block, which is great. Also it's a good to point that there is a two ways to install the filament on the X Max. First one is on the top of the printer, there is a foldable spool holder that can hold up to three spools of filament, so that you can feed the printer directly from the top. The second, you can install the filament on the second spool holder inside the printer and feed the printer from down below. The second option is very useful for filaments like nylon that needs to be kept inside the enclosure in a dry and warm environment away from the moisture. Of course you can install any kind of standard filament spool inside the printer and keep your filament away from dust, debris and moisture. On the back of the enclosure there are two very quiet 120mm fans with the filters that pushes the air outside of the enclosure which helps with air circulation and the fan are controllable from the LCD screen. The cable management on the X-Max is a very nicely done. All cable wires that connect print head and the motherboard are combined into one single flat cable which is very nice and clean solution. The rest of the cables run through the single cable chain on the right side of the enclosure. Speaking of enclosure, the top cover on the X-Max is holding with the four magnets, one on each corner and it can be removed easily at any time. The top cover is made of transparent plastic that traps the heat inside the enclosure which is great for printing ABS and nylon. For those who are interested about the temperatures inside the enclosure when printing ABS, I have placed a small temperature sensor on the back of the enclosure and I'm getting reading around 53 degrees Celsius. In terms of printer controls, the X-Max comes with a 5 inch LCD screen and the screen itself has a nice resolution it's a bright responsive and you have a good viewing angles. The software interface on this printer is a simple and straightforward. The icons on the screen are nice and big with a plenty of space between them. Navigation through the menu is without any lag and everything is where it should, but there is a few interesting things. For example when you print, you can turn on or off enclosure lights, set the printer to turn off after the printing is finished, or you can control the enclosure fans and before each print you can see the smaller preview of the model, which is very useful. Now let's talk about the print quality. The print quality on the X-Max, in short, is awesome. One of the best that I've seen. This printer comes with a chidi slicer, and even with the standard print profile and the stock print settings, I was getting pretty good print results. For more advanced users that use Simplified 3D, there is a supplied printing profile, which will give you even better print results. For this video review, I have printed quite a few test prints in a PLA, PTG, ABS, nylon and TPU filament. So let's start first with the PLA. Test prints printed with a red generic PLA that comes with the printer looks great. 
At first I print the test G code that comes with a printer, then a few 3D benches in a different layer height, and then I print FDM benchmark test print. I gotta say that XMAX performed very good, benches looks great, and the print accuracy was on spot. Only the retractions was slightly off for this red PLA, so I tune it later on, and here are the print settings that I use. For those who wonder about the noise level when printing, my decibel meter shows around 45 decibel, and the XMAX is one of the most silent 3D printer that I ever tested. Next I move to some bigger models. First I print this Klein bottle vase, designed by Create Cafe 3D, in 0.16mm layer height, 20% infill and 60mm a second print speed. This print took close to 16 hours to complete, and here is a close look on the vase. It looks very nice. Then I slice and start to print one of the most beautiful design 3D model called the Sorceries, designed by Luby 3D. To save the print time and the filament, I use only 0% infill, 0.15mm layer height, and the print speed was 50mm a second. Even through the half of the print, I could already see that it would look great. The print took 7 hours to complete, and the result was fantastic. She is a beauty. Next, I decided to print something big, so I scale up this turbine impeller to 300% scale and I print it in 0.16mm layer height, 5% infill and 50mm a second. Print time was 25 hours. Thanks to this magnetic build plate, it was very easy to remove the print, even this size, without any damage. This impeller is designed by Dr. Daniel Thomas from the Thingiverse, and like the other PLA test prints, it turned out great as well. I also print this pine cone lamp, the print results was again awesome. I used the same print settings as before, just with the added 30% infill. This pine cone lamp is designed by Street Fire Industries and it consists of three separate parts with a total print time of around 32 hours. One tip if you want to print PLA with a top cover on, like I do, make sure that you turn on the air circulation and if you use the heated bed, make sure that you set the heated bed to turn off after the first layer. This will help you greatly with the cooling, since the PLA prints much better in a cool environment and you will save electricity bill as well. If you like, you can also remove the top cover, but if you follow these simple tips, you don't have to. Next, I test the PTG filament and I got very nice results as well. First, I print a few smaller prints, like this simple gear designed by Jared New, then this carabiner, designed by Charlie 1982, and the prints looks very nice, and this one is a very useful. I like it a lot. Then I found these spinner gears, designed by MakerBot, which looks very interesting, and I print it as well without any issues. These prints turn out great, and it spins very nice. Then, for comparison with the PLA, first I print the sorceries from a Luby 3D, but this time in a PTG, using the same print settings and the speeds, just like with a PLA. The prints turn out beautifully. Next I found this twisted vase design by GD Eigenstein, and I scale it up to maximum 300mm on the z-axis. In the slicer I used the spiral or vase mode, which prints the entire model in just one pass. After 15 hours the vase was finished, and it looks excellent. The layers bonded so nicely on this print, that you cannot even tell that this vase is 3D printed. Very nicely indeed. Alright, XMAX performs great with a PLA and PTG filament, but what about ABS? If you own the open frame type 3D printer, then you already know how hard and tricky can be printing with ABS, who loves to warp and crack without a proper enclosure. Now since the XMAX has a very nicely enclosure, and the print head has an isolated nozzle from the hot end fan, there are absolutely no air that side blows at the print, so that ABS layers can bond very nice and strong. Temperature inside the enclosure when printing ABS is stable at 53 degrees Celsius, which is great. For those who print in a colder environment and you need even higher temperature inside the enclosure, you can print this cover designed by Alex M98, which is designed to close this opening on the back of the top cover. With this cover on, you can expect even higher temperature inside the enclosure. Next, I print again this impeller in a 300% scale with ABS. The print looks very nice. It has zero warping 
and no crack layers. I also print the sorceries in this blue ABS and it turns out great as well. She came out with all details, there is no imperfections, layer separation or warping, the print looks perfect like it was with a PLA. The same goes with this carabiner, which is also printed in ABS. The print looks nice and strong and it has zero warping. Next up is the nylon, but since I never print with this type of filament, I was only able to find one spool of nylon that was laying around since I brought it in August 2017. Unfortunately this spool of nylon was full of moisture and in order to have been able to print with it, I dry it first in oven for a few hours at 75 degrees Celsius and then I install it inside the printer. Also I add a small piece of Teflon tube to make sure that no filament rub against the flat cable. I believe this is a better solution than the stock one, who use only the small piece of this plastic tube. Alright, here are the few test prints that are printed with this nylon. First I print few of these carabiner hooks, which turns out pretty good. Then I print the pull gear and then cap for the silicone glue. Overall I get pretty decent results. Then I figure out why not print the sorceress as well, since I already printed with all other types of filament, so I did. On this print it was some stringing, which I cleaned in a few minutes with a razor blade. And here is the sorceries printed with a nylon, and I gotta say it looks surprisingly good. Other than a few burned spots, it looks pretty decent, and here they are all next to each other. We have the sorceries printed in a PLA, PTG, ABS, and nylon. And the last test print is the TPU or the flex filament, and here are the few examples that I printed without any problems. First I print this ceiling ring for the silicone glue cap, then I print this wrench design by bar spin and it turns out great too. And lastly I print this low poly flexible cat and it looks very nice as well. And now the final words. Well guys, after spending more than 2 months with the X-Max, I gotta say that I'm very impressed with the performance and availability of this 3D printer. I always wanted to have large scale fully enclosed 3D printer that doesn't cost a fortune and that works as it should right out of the box. In terms of any cons, there are just few. First, the position of the USB and internet port are not on the most convenient place. Internet port for example should be on the back of the printer instead of the front and the USB flash memory that comes with the printer is sticking too much out. So it will be nice that nano flash memory comes in a box with the printer and not this one. Of course if you print over Wi-Fi this wouldn't be a problem. The second cons is the lack of the filament runout sensor which should be standard on the printer of this price point. These sensors are very cheap and it's a shame that XMAX don't have one. Other than that XMAX is an awesome 3D printer and it's a real working horse. It gives consistent awesome print quality, print after print, day after day, without breaking a sweat. I think GD Tech did a great job with the XMAX and I can recommend it to anyone who is looking for a safe, reliable and a fully enclosed 3D printer. Alright guys, I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. Links of XMAX and other GD Tech 3D printers you can find in the video description. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave the comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.